All right. You want to LARP team up? Let's team up. I'm waiting for you outside the dust fair. So, what's your plan to get back at the Chill Queen? Simple. We team up and LARP kill her. What? That's a goal, not a plan. We don't know her strength. We don't know where she is. We don't even know what she fucking wants. No, but the lore master will know. Welcome to the Dust Fair! Source of all your laughing Come find the smoke. Yes, the blacksmith offers a handmade soap and per Hey, Loremaster. You know everything we need to know about the Chill Queen, right? Uh, the Loremaster did know, but the Loremaster's dead, so. Right, but you can tell us. Wrong. My character is dead and all of his knowledge went with him. If I tell you what he knew, I'd be breaking the rules. What kind of fucked up bullshit is this? Just go get a speak with Dead Potion, then we'll be golden. We need 250 quest tickets to buy a speak with Dead Potion. And we earn them how? By playing fair games. It'll be faster if we split up. A little competition, eh? May the better LARPer win? Can you grow up and go play carnival games? Okay. Player looking for game. Alack! Alas! Who can help me? You there! Stand and hark mine tale of woe! For coyotes did attack mine caravan! I plead with thee, help me in mine quest! Fetcheth me five of their pelts, and I shall reward thee with tickets! Great a fetch quest. I mean... I, I shall complete this quest for thee. There they are. Get your fuzzy asses back here. Forthwith! Throat rip. One pelt down. I hast slain thee! Thy belt is mine! Fake fur is fake murder. Arrow to the face. Pelts smell like gym socks.
Hastings! I hast won it the day! Hark! For I done brought thee the pelts thou didst desire. And I be grateful. But now I needest five hundred more pelts. Thou best be fucking kidding. Well, oh horror! The coyotes cometh for revenge! Your ah! reign of villainy ends now! <laughs> Since you didst save me, I suppose we can forego the other 400 and whatever pelts. I reward thee with tickets. That's more like it. Say, has thy caravan ever come across Frostlanders? Sort of. They paintballed my car in the parking lot. Fuck wads. No vacation on it. More dangerous coming up. Hey, Gwen. I'm kicking ass here. Got 30 tickets already. Oh, that's real good, newbie. I just won 40. Oh. I'm sure you'll do better next time. Damn right I will. Bet I can beat Gwen here. Who is valiant enough to sit the saddle of greetings? Art thou brave enough to ride the slack moored gobbler? Ride the gobbler for three laps round the track. Earn time by reaching checkpoints or by feeding the gobbler the unfortunate but well padded peons that stray into its path. Avoid the boxes as they cost ye time. Wilt thou prove thy valor? Most wondrous. Uh, can you. Maybe run that by me again. <sighs> Drive the go-kart, reach the checkpoints. Hitting people adds time, hitting boxes subtracts it. Most wondrous. The Goblin Bees in the glory of the Dragon's Gullet! The old street pizza! Stand still, you knave! But a smear upon my windscreen. 
I return victorious. And with proven valor, Gobbler Rider. Unlike those craven Frostlanders, I have heard how they did ambush thee. I pray they'll find revenge. Oh, I'm gonna revenge the shit out of them. Excellent, well. Buy tickets. How's it going, newbie? I just won us another 40 tickets. 40? That's real good, Gwen. I just won 50. Oh, well, we're still short for the potion. I guess one more game each should decide it. I mean, do it. I reckon so. Committed. More Wouldst tickets for the win. Bosonius, my liege, have you the skill to question these suspects and find the killer? Ain't usually how I do things, but sure. Perhaps a vile Frostlander hath done the deed. Nay, I fear not. Mm. I heard what they did, though. Technically within the rules, but a dick move. Now then, Valentino the Proud. Lies dead. All five suspects gathered here had good reason to wish her so, but they all claim alibis. Prithee, can thy wits solve this puzzle? Hail, Bosonius. I am Darien, of House Sandy Kraken, obviously. I had nothing to do with this murder, and I can prove it. I was playing chess with Alice. She hates when I win. I am called Flamewing. If I had wanted to kill Valentina, I would have challenged her to a duel. I was dueling with Eleanor at the time of the murder. I am Alice of House Duststorm. I had no love for Valentina, but I would never break the law. Besides, I have an alibi. I was playing chess with Darian at the time of the murder. My name is Eleanor of East Haven. I have no house to call my own. It was not I who killed Valentina. When the deed was done, Flamewing and I were you. I am Clarissa of House Tapeworm. I assure you, I am innocent of this crime. When Valentina was killed, I was playing cards with Darian. Bosonius, you may ask them to repeat their alibis before you choose the guilty party. Now then, great Bosonius, it is time for your judgment. I prithee to choose wisely and be certain of thy choice, as the penalty for murder is death, and I shall slay the one responsible. I choose thee! <laughs> Twas my hand that struck down Valentina, and she deserved it. You'll never catch me! Oh, I have fallen! I do pay for my crime! Gotcha! Noble Bosonius, you have saved us from the murderer! Pray take these tickets in gratitude, and kick some Frostlander ass for us, okay? Oh, it'll be my pleasure, Sheriff. Well, newbie, I just won 50 tickets. Me too. Oh. So we tied. Yeah. Which means no one's better. I hate when that happens. Can we just go get the fucking speak with Dead Potion? I'll meet you at the Alchemist tent. Come one, come all to the Alchemist Symporium! Greetings, good gentle folk. 
What potion do you seek this day? Health? Stealth? A love potion, perhaps? No. Absolutely not. One speak with dead, please. At once. The very finest. Brewed from yew berries and the shadows cast by gravestones. That'll be 250 tickets. Right, we got the potion. Let's find out what the fuck is up. Lore Master, by the power of this potion, I command thy spirit to speak with the living. Now tell me what's the deal with this chill queen asshole. In the beginning, there was nothing. Then, the four founders created the Dustlands. Crafting every detail from the stars in the sky to the sands upon the ground. They wrote the rules of blade and gun, of magic and mortality. But disharmony fell upon the founders. One among them cared not for the sanctity of the rules. She sought to sow chaos with her cheesing and munchkinning ways. The other three cast her out, and lo, she did taketh her ball and leaveth to found her own LARP chapter in the neighboring lands of Meeker City. A chapter where cheesing and munchkinning and, seriously, some really OP magic rules reigned supreme. And there she rules to this day as the Chill Queen. To protect themselves from her return, the remaining founders each crafted an item of power suited to their house. House Phoenix crafted the egg, which restores life to the departed. House Tapeworm crafted the Bowel Rod, whose mighty roar topples all who oppose it. And House Duststorm crafted the Storm Giant's bows, whose protective magic bolstered their great gate. The Founders guarded well these items during their reigns as Dust Monarch. But in time, the Founders left this world. One moved, one had kids, and one hurt her back or something. Their conflict with the Chill Queen was forgotten by all. All it would appear, but the Queen herself. She means to avenge herself against those long gone, to take the items meant to defeat her, claim them for herself, and then reclaim the Dustlands. And she has the first already. Don't forget to subscribe!